So the time has come to unpack all my Saracenia, move them back out onto the patio. It's going to be warming up the next couple of days, in the mid-60s even. A little bit of a cool down after that, but it's not going to be below freezing, so they should all be fine. The heating cables have also been turned off, and there's no heat in this garage, so they are all acclimated. So I'm going to get some full sun, going to get the rain. Uh, if you look inside this container, it's kind of packed in, very difficult to water everything. So I just kind of want to get them out in full sun, expose them to rain. That rain also has nitrogen in it, helps them grow. So let's unpack everything for the next part of this video. I'm going to probably save you all the boring, you know, carrying of the plants. We'll just go through all these Saracenia one by one and check out what I have in my collection. So... What do I got in both of these boxes? Let's find out. All right, so let's take a look one by one as to what we've got here. So to start off, we have Saracenia morii, and this and this came together as a huge rhizome, so I sort of split it up into two pots. Back there, we also have another morii, and this started being one of my favorite uh, hybrids, so, you know, why not have three pots just to see you know, maybe if one flowers and is kind of weaker, I have two backups and, you know, I just like it. So I got a cheap deal on this one. I think it was like five bucks or something. So I bought it. And over here, Oreophila, hybridized with Saracenia flava. It should grow some good pitchers now because it's uh, the springtime and it tends to grow uh, pitchers in the springtime, then these phylodia kind of all summer, and then another group of pitchers in the fall. So we have Flava rubricorpora. It's a red flava, and I don't really have that many red Saracenia, so I'm glad I have this one, and I've been planning on using it in a number of hybrids and seeing how they turn out. So this is Saracenia redii or redii. Uh, the pitcher it had and just, you know, one pitcher died off a long time ago. So hopefully we'll see some new ones growing in soon. This is Saracenia moriana. It's a hybrid between Oreophila and uh, Leucophila. So that should be an interesting cross. It's kind of like Morii, but a little different. But since I like the Morii hybrid so much, I bought this one too. Over here is my favorite pot. This is Saracenia Adrian Slack. And as you can see, we have about four divisions in here. So hopefully this will start filling out the pot this growing season and we'll have a nice group of interesting pitchers. This is just some uh, Saracenia Flava seedling, typical Flava. This is Leucophila Tarnock. And then we have Leucophila Schnell's Ghost. I didn't think this one existed, but apparently it does. Maybe it was another one from a, a Schnell's collection that has gone missing or extinct, uh, whatever cultivar that was. But for now, right now, we have Leucophila Schnell's Ghost. Uh, we have Leia Wilkerson. So this is one of my largest ones as well. Pretty uh, decent sized rhizome, so this should have good growth this season also. We have that Moria, I think I mentioned that earlier, and Red Rubra Waria. I got that kind of as a freebie, so why not? We'll see how that grows. Uh, this is Dana's Delight, another one I've been planning on using on some hybrids. So I had that one for a long time. If you watch my old videos, Dana's Delight was kind of, I think like my first Saracenia that I grew, or maybe that was Purpurea. So it was either first or second, but then, you know, uh, I killed the one I had, just kind of moving back from college. Uh, long story, but got that cultivar again. So kind of went through all this stuff. Let's go back here. So this is Rubra golfensis and it's anthocyanin free. So it just makes these kind of yellowish pitchers. Of course, not much to show you right now, but later on in the season, we'll see how that looks. This is a kind of a, not a complicated cross, just kind of a long name. So it's Saracenia flava and it's Cupria and Rubricorpora and those both come from specific sources and another freebie. So we'll see how that grows, but you know, flava is a 
pretty interesting Saracenia, so we're just gonna have to see how that grows. Uh, this one is a Okifinoki Saracenia minor, and so is this one, but they're two different kinds. So this first one is Phil's Giant and a Clumping Clone, two different Saracenia minor Okifinokiensis crossed with each other, and the same thing for the second one. And this is Phil's Giant, an RP clone. So interesting, uh, two Saracenia miners. Can't wait to see how they turn out. And then we just have the typical plain miner, which probably could use a repotting. And yeah, I think that's about it for this first. Uh, well, except for this one, of course. How could I forget Saracenia leucophila, Hurricane Creek White, Clone F. Another one I want to use in uh, some hybrid ideas I have, but also a nice one to have. So that's that first section over here. And then in this tub, we kind of have the shorties, the shorty swamp dwellers like the purpurea. This is just some hardware store one I got. And over here we have Saracenia cordii. It's a um, purpurea hybridized with Cittacina. And I have the location date on that tag. Well, at least for the Cittacina I do. So interesting, cool plant I wanted for a number of years and then I finally found one. And then also I have the anthocyanin free version of that cross, so it never makes any kind of red pigment. A very overgrown, I can probably repot it and get what, like five or six plants out of that. So one of my uh, favorite Saracenia. Another one is Saracenia minor hybridized with Cittacina. And so that would be one of, you know, these Saracenia Miners and the Cittacina hybridized together. And you get this type of a uh, pretty interesting plant. It's grown well for me so far, so I can't wait to see how it grows this season. So over here, Pert, Montana, Transylvania County, just a Scarlet Bell I bought from, uh, you know, a store around here. Uh, Saracenia, Umlaufdiana. This is one I've been wanting for a while. Another one I plan on using in some hybrids, so we'll see how that grows. Right now it's a very tiny division. Saracenia flava hybridized with Cittacina. Kind of just bought it for cheap because I thought it might be interesting to see how that turns out. And then we've got two Saracenia Cittacina over here. They look like they've got some pretty good coloration on them. And these are from Nassau County, Florida. And then just here in the corner is my final related plant. It's not a Saracenia, but it's the, um, what is this called again? Darlingtonia Californica, the cobra lily, kind of early in the morning still. Uh, so we have the Darlingtonia Californica, and I just have it sitting in here because it's not hot enough where I need to be running water over the plant. Uh, but I'm just going to be sitting it in some water, so there we have the two Saracenia tubs. I do have some more Saracenia on the way. I got kind of obsessed uh, with growing these. Later on in the season, like I said, everything should be much more interesting once the pitchers have grown out. But that's it for right now. All the Saracenia are outside. And... Uh, we're going to just have to see how they grow. So make sure you hit that subscribe button. I'm going to be coming back with more videos. You'll be notified when I make another one, probably sometime in June or July, to see how these Saracenia have started growing for the summer. Uh, but that's it for right now, my Saracenia collection as of April 2019.